So in order to set up an affiliate program in one shopping cart, once you log in, you want to go to email and marketing, affiliate program, and then affiliate setup. So my recommendation is that you leave the default affiliate program or save it, I should say, for launch purposes and for when you have you know, special products or programs that you want to promote. When affiliates sign up, they're given their default affiliate link and you can always assign that default affiliate link to what it is that you're promoting at that point in time. So what we'll do is we'll leave the default affiliate program or we'll set it up today for your launch and then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll create an affiliate program specifically for the product that we're selling. So in this case, for the commission setup, we're going to leave the name as the default affiliate program name, and we'll you know, just leave the program description as is. The payday, we will select 28 days so that you're paying out your affiliates once a month. Now the show make checks a payable to field. Now this depends if you're going to only pay your affiliates by PayPal, then you'd leave this as no. If you're gonna give the option to pay by check or PayPal, then you put this as yes. The first level commission, so what is the commission level for the specific thing that you're promoting? So in the launch, say we're promoting a program and we're giving affiliates 50%. The second level commission, now this refers to affiliates who refer new affiliates and the original affiliate would then receive commission for any sales that the new affiliate generates. So we'll just leave this as zero. We're not paying out per impression or per click or per lead. The minimum payout, I would leave it at zero. Um, more than likely, your payouts are going to be a couple hundred dollars, so there's no need to, to leave it at you know, 10 or $100. That's only when there's really low ticket items. The default cookie expiration, I like to leave it as unlimited. So when an affiliate uses their link, any people they refer to your site or your sales pages, the cookie does not expire, so technically, a year from now, if somebody visits your page and makes a purchase, the affiliate who referred that person will receive their commission. Will you allow PayPal payout for affiliates? You can put either yes or no, depending on, on what you've decided or how you've decided to pay your affiliates. And then the currency, and then display the commission rate for the individual program. Yes, it's always a good idea to be transparent with your affiliates so they know what the commission structure is. So then click save, then we'll go to approval and notifications. Now the affiliate sign up URL, this basically looks like this, and this is where you're gonna use this URL and have an affiliate sign up page on your website or from your sales page. Once they click on it, they'll come to this page here. The affiliate login URL, so that same page on your website, you would have you know sign up here to become an affiliate, or if you're login here, if you're already an affiliate. So that page would be on your website. And this is where they would log in. The welcome you affiliate URL. So once they sign in, or once they sign up, sorry, they should be brought to you know some type of affiliate welcome page that you know thanks them for beca becoming an affiliate and what their next steps are or what they can expect. So probably an email that they're going to receive. The default destination URL. So this is the URL that you will change with every launch that you have. So for your launch, in this particular case, it's a preview call, so you have the squeeze page. You'd put the squeeze page URL here. Um, enter in you know, who's administering the affiliate program, their email address, so probably your email address. And then you want to select your autoresponder. So it's a good idea to create an autoresponder series for your affiliates so that way you're creating a list of affiliates and when you want to email you know your affiliates all at once you can just use that email list so we'll do that in a minute do affiliates need to be approved I would leave that as no and then automatically email instructions to the affiliates I would click yes and then these are the default instructions that one shopping cart sends so you can read this over and then make you know some changes to the text if you'd like so do you want to send sales notifications I would put yes send zero commission sales notification I would leave that as no send a sign up notification uh, that depends I don't know if your affiliates would prefer to know when when they've referred someone and then show 
contact info to affiliate. I would leave that as no so that your the affiliates don't know, you know, the name of ev everyone that they refer. So click save. And then you're going to go to the sign up page. And this is where you can customize this page if you'd like. The support center. Again, this is the login page. You can customize it if you'd like. The terms of service. This is what the affiliates should read through before becoming an affiliate and you should also read through this. And then the welcome page. So this is the page that affiliates would be brought to once they log in to the affiliate center. So this is pretty standard. You can read this over and make any changes if you'd like. So what we'll do is we'll go to email and marketing. We'll click autoresponders and then we're going to create a new autoresponder. And then the campaign name, we'll call it Affiliates. And then we'd put my from name, my from email. The campaign type, we'll put Affiliates. And then we'll click Save. And then this is where you would create your initial email that will go out to your affiliates as soon as they sign up. So if you refer back to the guide to the affiliate program, this would be your welcome package. So you know, you'd want to write about your business, um, what they can expect, the programs that you have that they can promote, the commission structure for each, and encourage them to log in to access their resources, such as banner ads and swipe copy, that kind of thing. So once you do that, you'd go back to email and marketing, click affiliate program and affiliate setup. And then we'll go to the approval and notifications. And we'll select affiliates for the affiliate autoresponder. And then we'll click save.